Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine, aka The Freckled Princess on both Instagram and here on YouTube. This is Izzy. She is our new rescue. I'm trying to convince the honey to let us keep her, but we'll see how that goes. So I have just about 25 minutes to get ready to go to the vet with her for her first ever vet visit for a checkup and some shots and I need to get ready. So last night I slept in um, pin curls. I only did about five big sets. So the bigger the set or the thicker the set, the more full your curls will be. So it will be very, um, almost 1940s once you brush it out. So I'm gonna put her down so that I can <laughs> so that I can go ahead and do my hair and makeup for the appointment and for the rest of the day. So here we go. So we're just gonna do a get ready with me. It's gonna be nice and quick and um, you'll get to see how I do my basic everyday makeup. So we'll do our hair last just because I tend to get makeup on my hair and I wanna avoid that today. Every product that I use is cruelty free, so we're going to start with LA Girl Pro Concealer in Yellow Corrector and then Green Corrector. Now these each are about $1.99 I believe. So I'm going to make a T here. I don't know why I do this. I just do. Some things you just see on the internet and you're like, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to squeeze a little more because there's not... Ooh, it's not a lot. Come oh, that's too much. I'm going to put it where it's a little discolored. Excuse me if I'm looking off to the side. I am using a mirror. I guess I can use you guys too. And then some discoloring here. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so we're going to use the Pro Concealer and Green Concealer to take care of any redness or dark circles. I was using yellow concealer under my eyes before and I have a really dry nose right now <laughs> so I'm gonna put it all right <laughs> there so once you have this lovely face going on I learned the hard way do not let it sit very long on your face because then it will not blend so I've got my beauty sponge and you're gonna start with the green first I mean, who knows if I'm doing this all correctly, but I've been adding these little things into my routine and it, my makeup does look better. So I feel like I should have put the mirror on the other side, but whatever. And then, Okay, so once you tap that all in, don't smudge it because then you smudge it all off and then it kind of defeats the purpose of putting these things on. Okay. Alright, so then moving on to, I've got to get ready quick, so I'm just going to like power through all of this. I use the Milani uh, Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. This is also cruelty free. And <clears throat> they are medium to full coverage. I like that it covers up my flaws, but it doesn't cover up my freckles. That's kind of um, a big deal for me. So I've gone to get fitted for different foundations, and they're like, oh, great, we have something to cover your freckles. And I'm like, mm, yeah, I don't like that. So <laughs> I like this one because it evens out my skin tone without taking away my freckles. So you can get this Milani concealer at <laughs> my boss is, not my boss, but the building owner just walked by and saw me doing my makeup at my desk. Um, the Milani concealer, I purchased it at both Walmart and Target. So it is easily accessible. I don't know if they sell it at um, places like CVS or anything. So let me know. Let me know if you even use Milani. Now, actually, I used to use the NYX uh, HD Studio Photogenic, and I like it, but 
I feel like my face just absorbs it right up and it doesn't end up concealing very well. This was half the price, easily accessible, because the next one, when you find them at Target, sometimes they don't have your color. So the Milani one is more accessible. The next one I have had to go to a totally different mall and it was very inconvenient to get my color. I don't like having to go out of my way for that stuff because it's really not that important to me <laughs> to wear makeup. I mean, it makes me feel good, but I don't have to go out of my way to go get it. <laughs> All right. So I put a lot on my hand. I just make sure that I get rid of what? <laughs> get rid of it. Put it on my face. You guys like look at these little baby hairs so cute kim kardashian got rid of her baby hairs you know i know this because it popped up in my us weekly also my mom like i'll tell her some celebrity news she's like yeah that's old news and i'm like okay jeez <laughs> she's like nice of you to join the world <laughs> she loves her some us weekly Okay, so pat it in, make sure it's in there. Maybe that's why it lasts so long too, because I pat it in, and I clearly put on a lot, but it evens out my skin tone, and I love it. So right now we are six minutes and 47 seconds in to our routine. Just to show you guys like how quick this can be. I've also been kind of chatty and it's been holding, get the holding me back <laughs> from being super fast. So I uh, have depression and with my depression, a side effect is this anxiety <laughs> where if I'm watching something stressful or if I feel stressful, now it is literally, you can just see it on my face because I start to sit and like peel my lips so I peel especially right here. So before I put on lipstick or anything, I try to put on some chapstick so that when I put on, look at this. So when I put on my lipstick, it doesn't crack or anything. All right, so we're gonna keep everything pretty basic because we are in a rush. And because yesterday I did a look without eyeliner because I was late to meet a friend and I didn't want to be any later so I skipped the eyeliner and I kind of super duper loved the look so we're gonna stay with that look today all right so I'm brushing my eyebrows with this elf mascara wand okay and if you're not careful <laughs> like I was I like to like take off a little bit um, it doesn't get crusty, but like it gets a little bit of buildup and you can actually like peel it off. So just make sure it goes right on your eyebrows and not all over the place. Cause I have walked out of the house with <laughs> like crusty right here. It's not a good look. All right, moving on. We're almost done guys. So I have this elf eyebrow set in both dark and I believe medium. I kind of just grab whichever one I grab first. I don't, doesn't really matter to me. So I am going to add some, excuse me. So I'm gonna keep my lid clean, except for this big brush here. This is also an e.l.f. brush. I believe it was a whole $30, maybe one, I don't know. I think this one is three because the black ones are three literally going to just hit the corner of my eye here and slosh it around. Okay. You'll be able to see a little better on this side. So really put a ton on there and I'm not even moving it. I'm literally just placing it here and then just like sliding it. I think I'm more moving my eyebrow or my eyelid. 
Now I'm going to add a little more. So it's going to add a little bit of definition. So this makeup routine is really good for um, traveling because you don't have to take a lot of makeup with you. Like this covers your eyebrows, some definition, like contouring and eyeshadow all at the same time. So do you see, I didn't even add anything. I'm just going with my foundation based eyelids, brush it off and just sweep it through to blend. Just a couple little strokes. Okay. Moving on to blush. The reason I do blush, this is from, you guys, we were 10 minutes and 49 seconds in, and I paused for like 40 seconds to talk. This is from Wet n Wild. It is the color Velour, and it is a stick. I believe it was $3.99. I don't know where this brush came from. And I'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheeks. Now, I went to NYX one time, and I said, I'm looking for a new blush. And she goes, okay, so we have this really beautiful, subtle blush. And I was like, hold the phone. <laughs> you know those old, and I told her, I was like, you know those old ladies who, like, have a ton of blush on and, like, a ton of mascara? Like, spider eyes? And she goes, yeah. And I go, that's me, currently. So I don't do subtle on the blush front. And she goes, oh, okay. <laughs> so she showed me a stick, although this isn't, um... Although this isn't NYX, uh, she showed me a stick blush, which I thought was great because she says part of the wonderful things about a cream blush, and I learned this through Bessie May's cream blush as well, is that, and I put some on my nose, is that you can make it um, as heavy or as light as you would like. So we are going to go in, there's some cat hair, and brush this out. Guys are probably like, ah, but it's like that, um, you know, it starts off strong and then it evens out and it's like, oh, me, I was running. I ran here in my heels and my nice hair. <laughs> so because foundation does tend to take away any definition in your face, you guys can still see my freckles, skin looks good. I'm going to use the same brush that I used on my eyes the same palette and I'm going to just define right here where my and it's just a quick little you see that lovely it's just a quick little line okay and then I'm also going to define because right now I feel like I don't really have much definition on my jawline I'm going to do this here. So just go through, see it's a little bit better. Okay, now, you don't leave it like that because now I look like I've been outside and I'm like, Lisa, may I have some more? Okay, so trusty brush. You might want a kabuki brush. I like this one because I lost my kabuki brush, so now I have to like this one. But you just brush it up. Abuse those cheeks. Okay. Brush it up so that it blends in. Same thing. You're going to start here. Brush it up. Okay. Lovely. Going back to eyebrows, same palette. This palette, I think, was $2.99. I'm going to use this Dollar Elf brush. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is, I believe, an eyeliner brush, but I use it as, and I just do quick little strokes. Because I think if you're too precise with the brush it actually looks really bad 
because then it looks like not like hairs, but it looks like like a stamp. I stamped my eyebrows on this morning. I guess they have that, right? Like that stamp thing. Like a stencil. No, they have an actual stamp. So I just extend the look here. Can you guys see that side? See? <laughs> now, my eyebrows never match. One is usually better than the other, and I'm actually getting better at doing my eyebrows, like this, like I have to add like some hair because I think I over plucked while I was waiting. Um, I don't know why I got so quiet. Sorry guys, I'm concentrating. Give me a second. <laughs> Sorry for the silence, guys. Oh, yeah, I added like a whole thing there. I'm about to get my eyebrows done tonight, so. I'm not so bad. Okay. <laughs> She's so weird. Okay. Um, I think that's good. I think. This one's a little more, okay, I think I matched it because that one was a little more roundy. All right, so now all that we have left is lips and my favorite mascara. So I'm going to prep my eyelids. Yay. Let's get them all in there. I really should clean this, right? Like, look at all that mascara goop on it. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, so now we're going to take off some of our, now that we let this sink in a little bit, take off some of our chapstick. And I currently have four lipsticks in my bag, which all happen to be Besame. So I have American Beauty, which is more of a pink, Kenley Red, which is my first one I ever had, Dusty Rose and Victory Red. So this is Victory Red. I don't know why. I... <laughs> this is Victory Red. Um, because I'm wearing pink, this one's a little. This one's a little darker. Then we have Kenley Red. Oh, which is a very vibrant red. Okay. And then we have Dusty Rose, which is more of a pink. Now, <clears throat> on lighter skin tones, this comes out very dark. On my skin tone, I love it because it feels glamorous, but still a touch up from natural. So I think I will do red, because I can never stay away from red. I think I will do Kenley Red. So Besame has um, done this intentionally, where they've brought it up to a tip. So I'm going to outline my lips with that tip. And then, because I can't see, I usually just fill that in. So this was Kenley Red. I don't know if they still sell Kenley Red. Um, I know that was one of the first colors I ever received from my sister-in-law. I feel like Dusty Rose would have been a good color today. I'm not taking off this $22 lipstick. No, sir. Okay, so I do have a red lip liner. I'm just going to correct the mess I made of my lips. I always make this one really pointy and this one not, so let's, whatever. Oh no. Okay. Okay, so the thing with Besame lipsticks is that they are very pigmented. They do transfer, which, um, 
I don't mind. It reminds me of my mom. And um, when I was young and I would see her take a sip from something and it would have her lipstick on it. So I thought it was very glamorous. But to avoid some of that transfer, kiss a napkin and blot. Uh, the blotting in the middle is super important because I have these like vampire teeth and they catch everything. So I definitely have to do that. All right, so that is done. We are going to hop on with some mascara. I tend to overdo it on the mascara like I mentioned before. This is Wet n Wild. Oh goodness. It is waterproof and I need to do waterproof because I'm going to go through the top because I cry at the drop of a hat. I am super emotional so I have to get something that is waterproof or I cannot use it because I have had mascara all over my face. Do you guys remember that episode of Friends where Ross points out that Phoebe has never had a long-term relationship and then she starts crying and then Mike shows up and she's like, He's like, are you okay? And she's like, I'm fine. And she has like mascara and stuff all over her face. That's me. Can I help you with something? Come here. Izzy wants to come on up. So I am going to pack on this mascara as much as I can. And then, you guys, we're 21 minutes in. That's not too bad. And I stopped to talk. Okay, so I'm going to pack on this mascara as much as I can and then get to my hair. See, the hair doesn't look so bad when your makeup's done. But we're going to brush that out. Oh, Easy Girl made her way up. Did you want to get your makeup done? Um, I don't want to get my makeup done. She's falling asleep in my arm. All right, so let's get this going. We will come back to um, the mascara, because I always am willing to, ooh, what if I just did this? <laughs> just kidding, I don't like it, never mind. I mean, I could if I just did it like this. No, I look like, I don't know. Other people can pull it off, I don't think that I can, so we're gonna, gonna brush it out. Okay, so I put in a ton of bobby pins last night because I didn't want it to move. So, usually, so what I'm going to start doing is, usually what I do is on night one of clean, fresh hair, I get in the shower, I get out, I let it either air dry or I dry it with the blow dryer, depending on... Ooh. Nobody called. Depending on... Um, how much time I have or how patient I am feeling. So I do my hair and then the next day I will pin curl it. Izzy. The next day I will put it back in curlers at night to preserve my set. Usually my set will last about three days. This I'm going on day four, which is amazing. And I think it's because I'm pinning it up in these big sections. So as you can see, these are big, big curls. We're going to brush it out with our brush here. It's the regular, I mean, I got this at like the 99 cent store or something. And in my curls in the evening, I use, when I set my hair, I use, um, goodness, I use Suavecita, uh, setting spray, and then to take care of the curls. Next day, 
I use my Suavecita pomade. So as you can see, my hair is doing some stuff. Now to add a little bit more volume, I will add some hairspray. This is Rusk. I got it from TJ Maxx. I usually just grab whatever hairspray is cheap at TJ Maxx or Marshalls because you know I ain't paying that much. So then I go back with this brush, this teasing brush, to go ahead and just smooth it out. So because it is dirty, my hair, meaning unwashed, mind you, it's clean but dirty, um, this volume right here and this is amazing. So I'm going to brush this out so it's nice and neat. Concentrating. Tuck that in. Beautiful. Okay, I wonder if I should add in a little lymph here. How about I just tease it back? So I'm going to use a little bit of pomade. To brush this back. Now I will suggest if you start doing pin curls or if you're doing pin curls or you're doing any kind of vintage set or retro set um, or even styling your hair in this style grab yourself some good bobby pins I grabbed these bobby pins eee! Ah! they're really like strong so it's they're not life strong my mom would hate that they're strong they're very strong so um you don't have to use as many. I have very, very thick hair, and usually I would buy my bobby pins at the 99 cent store, and they would not hold my hair very well. And it's because they're not good quality. There are good qualities of bobby pins. Now oh, I liked it out. You can shape your hair, which is kind of fun. But when you pin curl your hair, do not be afraid to brush it out. You're not going to lose the curls. I know that when I first started doing that, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my curls. But that never happened. <laughs> but because I didn't brush it out, I would end up looking like Harpo Marx. <laughs> and uh, it's not a very appealing look. So here we go. We are going to hairspray that down. I am going to go in with my mascara one more time. You guys, under 30 minutes even after all of my blobbing. So I believe we are going to make it in time for Izzy's appointment and um, we're good to go. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. This is this was all done under 30 minutes. It's 29.15 right now. So forget about the myth that dressing vintage or doing your hair and makeup vintage takes forever and a day. It does not. You get the hang of it. You find your style. You find what works for you and what doesn't. It takes some time, um, but that's part of the journey and that's really, really fun. So one last final tip. If you do not have a setting spray, you guys are not going to believe I'm going to do this, but it works and it works well and you don't have a sticky face if you have the right hairspray. This hairspray, I am going to set my face with it by spraying it over <coughs> done <laughs> bye
Bye guys. Be sure to subscribe if you like my channel. Give this a thumbs up. Comment below any questions that you have so I can address them in the next video. And if you'd like to see more Get Ready With Me's, let me know. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>